In today's video, I wanted to do a mixed media piece with an alcohol ink background and then add some stencil designs on top with acrylics. I thought it would be a nice contrast and my husband thought it would be fun to try out because it's different from what I've done before um, with the alcohol inks even though I'm quite new at using them. I see a lot of potential for mixed media with them along with acrylics so I just wanted to see what a stencil design would look like. So I'm working on a 12 inch piece of paper. The brand is actually Nara paper, it is not Yubo. There are a variety of companies that make um, different brands of paper, so you could definitely try out some different ones. Uh, and I also have my protective gear. I'm using um, gloves and a mask now. And then I also have my alcohol inks. I'm using some Brea Reese inks, and I ended up just picking one color. I also have my cordless airbrush and my blending solution and a bunch of rubbing alcohol. Just to help protect my lungs, I've just started wearing a mask so I'm not breathing in the fumes from all of the alcohol inks. Um, there are a couple of groups on Facebook that I'm a part of that they like to talk about the um, safety and cautions while using these. So along with using gloves to protect my skin, I'm just starting to use a mask now. So I had a couple of different colors of inks picked out. They were all various shades of black and gray, but I just decided to go with um, one, I believe it was called Fog. So it's a nice lighter color. I have my hair dryer. I was planning on using that too, but it's too strong. So I didn't end up using that one, but I did grab my Revlon um, hair dryer and that one worked quite a bit better. I worked really slow on this. I just added my ink down the middle of my paper and then just slowly started adding small portions of uh, rubbing alcohol to start moving everything around. Overall, the color was really nice and by working on small portions like this, I got a really nice marbled looking piece, which was uh, a nice outcome for something like this. I just continued to add my rubbing alcohol and then drying it quickly with my um, hair dryer. And then just to add some more contrast of that alcohol ink, I just started adding a little bit more um, to my piece of paper.
Once I was all done with my piece, I let it sit for about half a day just so that my stencil would hopefully not stick to the surface at all. And I just picked out one stencil that I really like using. I, since my design is mainly through the middle of my piece, I'm using the stencil on two corners. I have my silicone spatula for spreading out my paint, and then I have my heavy body gold paint to add to this. If you want to check out some another stenciled painting that I've done, you could check out video number 327. I actually used four small canvases and put a stencil uh, on all four of them. I think with the way that this is working out on the paper, uh, I could definitely do some larger pieces of alcohol inks and then adding the stencil on top. It worked really well. And I think it was just some really nice contrast. Thank you all for watching my video. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I have a bunch of other stencils that I want to try out and I think on um, these alcohol ink pieces it might be a really nice embellishment. So if you have color palette ideas that you want to see in either alcohol inks or paintings let me know down in the comments and I look forward to hearing what you think about this one. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. I do put out three videos a week and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.